we're here in the Kepler Pass zone. I'm on a northeast aspect right here. I remotely triggered this big slide above me. It's a no on a northwest aspect above tree line. So this is a perfect example of our persistence lab problem. Um, we're on a high elevation, shaded aspect. We're on a low angle slope here. This, this slope here is like 20 degrees and we're at least two or 300 yards away from the start zone of the slide. I got a big collapse and saw shooting cracks raiding out from underneath my skis right here and looked up slope and within a couple seconds this whole thing was coming down. So this is that problem where you gotta not only be aware of what slopes you're on, but what slopes you're walking underneath. And evidence that this layer is really weak. It's been almost a week since we've had really this storm and we're still seeing this is a glaring sign of instability. So just choosing your terrain, choosing your aspects carefully and being observant to signs of instability like collapsing, cracking, all those things are indicators that you should be avoiding slopes that are steep like this one. Uh, one more point to point out here, right below Zach's slide, making this observation about the persistent slab is uh, plain as day. We can do a quick hand pit, we can dig right down, and we can see this stouter slab sitting over real obvious facets. You've seen this all the time in a lot of these videos when we identify this persistent slab problem. Sometimes it's a little deeper and harder to identify, but right here this is just perfect. And you can see why when Zach came up onto the shallow slope, it was really easy for him to collapse that weak layer and it propagated up slope. Another test that we can do while we're traveling as well is flipping our pole over and we can feel resistance as we slide it through the snowpack and then we feel it pop into that weak layer. And we can use this to identify the weak layer and then use our poles to help see how the snowpack's changing as we travel through terrain. So if we wrap around the roll here, we'll probably feel a much different snowpack with our pole. All right, we're in Obi Joyful Basin. This is take two.